You're at a point in this war where many Americans are saying it's enough. Enough money, enough blood, enough treasure. Mm -hmm. The Afghans have to be responsible for themselves. It's not our job to make Afghanistan a stable, prosperous country. They have to do it. They have to do something on their own. We've spent enough. What do you say to them? The Afghans want the responsibility. How we help them do that uh, is something that we haven't addressed very well, in my view. I think particularly if you look at the application of non-military power, the rule of law, education, economic opportunity, medical uh, care, and that in the scheme of things doesn't cost that much. And we're not talking about transforming Afghanistan into a Jeffersonian democracy. We're talking about just enough governance where al-Qaeda and the Taliban cannot regain a foothold. How is that different from what the U.S. has been doing for the past 10 years? Haven't they been spending money on schools and roads and the economy? They've been spending money, but most of it has been wasted. One estimate is that only 10 percent of U.S. aid gets to the field because of ineffectiveness, because of corruption. Uh, we've been feckless in terms of how we have applied non-military power in Afghanistan. Who's responsible for that? Well, I think ultimately it's, uh, it's the president, but it's also uh, other members of the administration and, and Congress. This administration, the previous administration, 